Hi everyone, it's Farmer Rob here from Cannon Hall Farm. Now I hope you enjoyed this week's show where we looked at our wonderful herd of donkeys. Now sadly, Daffodil the donkey has had to leave the farm. Um, she gave birth to, uh, to two foals in the last two years and rejected both immediately. Now we had the heartbreaking decision uh, to rehome her because either we'd have to keep her on her own or Gary the male donkey would have to live on his own and to keep a donkey in isolation is simply not fair. Now Trish is a wonderful lady, she's already got three of our donkeys, uh, she wanted a fourth so Daffodil has got the chance to go and live her best life with her sisters uh, away from the attentions of Gary. Motherhood unfortunately was not for her. Would you like to come and have a look how Princess, her baby from this year, is progressing? Come with me. Hello Flower, hello then, how are you doing? Hey, can we have a look? Good girl, come on then, come on. Come on, step back. Hello, hello beautiful. Now this is Princess, uh, Daffodil's Fall from this year, and uh, we've been incredibly lucky to, uh, to manage to rear her on the bottle. Now rearing animals uh, by hand is not a given that you'll succeed, and it's only thanks to the dedication of our wonderful staff that we've, be, that we've been able to do so. Now Princess is absolutely thriving, she's growing every day, she's quite mischievous as you often find with a hand reared animal, so we really want to keep her in touch with the other donkeys so she doesn't become a human, we need her to stay a donkey. So, uh, so it's quite important that she has plenty of interaction with, uh, with the other donkeys and that, uh, that she doesn't get confused that she's actually uh, actually one of us. We did not give in easily with reconnecting Princess with Daffodil. We tried ever so hard. Uh, she managed to feed from a mum under supervision for the first week and that's the reason she's here. She got that all important colostrum for the first few days and, uh, and without that we would definitely have never reared her. Uh, now thanks to Dorsey our goat, uh, she picked up the slack uh, she allowed us to milk her every day. The milk was fed to Princess. Uh, Princess has grown like a willow tree um, and is absolutely living her best life. We couldn't be happier with the progress she's been making and, uh, and we've got high hopes that she'll grow up knowing she's a donkey and live a fantastic life. Thanks for watching this update on Princess, our adorable little donkey. Uh, now she's a real character, there will be bumps along the road, we will keep you updated as we, uh, as we travel that road with her. Uh, we couldn't be happier with the progress that she's making. Thank you so much for watching this broadcast. Bye everyone.